Okay, so we're going to take a look at how to create animations. The windows that we want to work with right now are our properties window and our states. Those are our two main windows. And we're going to take a look at in this video a couple different ways that we can create animations. So we begin. First thing we want to do is we want to start and we are going to draw a shape. So here goes. All right, so here goes. So we begin and we draw our shape. And I'm going to draw a, what shape did I want? Where is that shape? An interesting one. The donut, that's what I wanted. Okay, so I come on in, I draw the donut shape. I have a color to it. Now, what I can see here is I have my fill and my stroke, but on your properties panel, you get a really nice amount of information about the shape. And what I could do here is I could come on in, I can add a drop shadow. Um, and now what I need to do in order to create an animation, and again, the windows that I really will be working with are my properties and my state. I need to convert it to a symbol so I can come down, but there's two things I can do. I can just begin and just create a real easy um, animation. So I can come to modify animation, have an animate selection. I could say, oh, okay, I want to make this 10 states, all right, you're going to see what states look like in a minute. 10 states, and I'm going to say, hmm, let's move. Um, and what direction do we want to move? Let's move in this direction. So we want it to move 95 degrees in that direction. Let's keep the opacity at what it is, and we'll change it to counterclockwise. We say, OK. I'm going to say, all right, to that. And I can see what's happened now based on what I've put in there. This is what's happening to my animation. Okay, so we see it's moving, 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 and there it is. There it is. All right, so let's play it and let's take a look and see what it looks like. So I can come on down to the bottom here and hit this, and there it is. So that was a really pretty easy way to create an animation. Moving right along, let's take a look at how we could create another animation and these we can export them we can save them as animated gifs and we also can save these as swf files now we save it as an swf file it needs a flash player to play um, an animated gif does not moving right along we'll look we'll take a look at how to save them in a minute in a, in a little bit all right so what we can do is we can make our own animations and again, I could start with my donut tool. I can draw my shape. I can add my shadow again. And what I can do is I can actually create my own states and work with these really in whatever way I want to. All right, so now we could say that probably working this way versus just the modify animation, animate selection, we have a little bit more freedom now. First thing that I need to do is convert this to a symbol. So I'm going to come to modify and I'm going to symbol, I'm going to say convert to symbol and I'm going to make it a graphic. Now, if I was to make it an animation, I'd say, okay, it'd be the same thing. See, I'm going to get the same window that I already had. I don't want to do that. I'm going to go back. I'm going to come to modify, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, modify symbol, convert to symbol. And I'm just going to make this a graphic. I'm going to say, okay. There we is, where we have we have our symbol. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a new state. But I'm going to come to my state, so I'm going to control click or right click on a PC, and I'm going to duplicate this state. And I'm going to say that I want to duplicate um, this state that's right here. I'll say OK. So now I have state one, state two. And what I want to do when I get into state two is I want to move this over here. And um, if I select this, and I want to, you know, change the filter, okay? We'll find that we'll get a lot of changes with the filter, and I want to, you know, and nothing really happened with that, but that's okay. Let's see here. So I'm going to click on this, select this. I moved this over here for here we have state one, here we have state two. Moving right along. Um, what I want to do now is, uh, and, the, and this one really didn't, doesn't really look like much happened, but we can come on in, you know, 
you can change um, different features of this as you work. Right, hold on for one minute. Okay, so the, the I wanted to just um, come back to what I was showing you because uh, for some reason the ones that I was doing weren't necessarily working. Um, so we can play around and we can adjust these different filters that we have. Um, and what I could do is I could come on in and say, okay, I want to adjust the color here. So I could change the hue of this. And as I move into this state, I can say I come from state one to state two. All right, now I'm going to make a new state again. So I'm going to uh, come on over to my state window. I'm going to control click, right click. I'm going to duplicate the state. I'm going to say, yes, I want to duplicate this state. Now I can move this over and I can even make it bigger, make it bigger if I'd like to. I could change the color. Um, I can come on in over here to, to the width and the height, make it up to 200. Okay, and again, if I come on in, I can adjust the color one more time. I think you're probably getting the idea. Uh, really the possibilities, as I said earlier, you know, you're only limited by your imagination. Okay, so we'll say okay. We come from state one, state two, to state three. All right, so here goes. We'll hit play. Okay, and there we have it. Now, let's say with our timing, if we want to come in and change the timing, I can click right there. So it doesn't move so quickly. All right, so we can work with the timing um, of how quickly these all uh, move through. So I hit stop. Uh, now, what's interesting too, as we come on in to our properties panel, we can easily come to state one, state two, and state three. Okay, and as we click on this, again, we can see that our window changes a little bit and we can work and, you know, cha change things around um, quite a bit. All right, so moving right along. Let's actually create a new one and now we're going to take a look at tweens. Now, again, the samples that I'm showing you are very simple, but I hope you, hopefully you're getting the idea that really you're only limited by your imagination. All right, let's take a look at uh, working and adding in tweens, tweens. Now, when we insert tweens into an animation, we can say that uh, tweens, well, I'll, I'll start to show you. If we start and we draw, let's just start with a circular tool. We draw, we have a shape up at the top and we come on down and we draw, we have a shape down at the bottom. What we wanna look at is how we can work between this shape and this shape to make and insert the movement from this corner down to this corner. So here goes. So I'm going to start over again with this little tween project here. So first thing we want to do if we want to tween something, uh, we begin and we create our shape. Okay. And then what we want to do is we want to actually turn this into a symbol. So we come to modify, we come to modify and, um, we uh, convert this to a symbol. So we come to symbol, we say convert to symbol. We say, okay. All right, now what we can find is as we come into our document library too, we can see that we have all of our symbols down in here, right? So and I, I have a lot of the same looking symbols, but all of the different things that we've made as symbols are right in here. So what we can do when we come into this document library, we can do one of two things. In order to tween, we need an instance of the same symbol, okay? So, um, and we can pull all of these right out of this library. So I'm gonna delete, because I have three of the same, so I'm gonna delete, delete, delete. So I have this first symbol right here. I can drag this, and I can drop this symbol right into here. Now, I can do the same thing. I can drag this symbol and drop it down here, because I'm saying, okay, I want this, to actually move from here down to here, okay? And again, in order to do a tween, we need two of the same symbols. Now, I come to modify, and I come to symbol, and I want to say tween instances. 
Now, what I want to say too, though, is I want to say, why don't we say we'll have 15? We want to have 15 different movements. And what we want to do is we want to definitely distribute it to frames. And I hit OK. And now what happens is this has now created these different states, these different frames that are going to show the motion of this ball as it moves on down to the bottom. Now, if I want to see all of these, I shift click. Actually, so I, I click on to the top. Let me, let me show you this. All right, so whenever you click right at this side of the state, see, you can see the actual image. So if I wanted to see all of them at the same time, I would just shift click and then I can see all of them. Now, what I can do very easily is I can take these balls, these shapes, and I can actually move them around. Take this, oops, take this one right down in here, click off, click on, move this last one off of the page completely. All right, so I think you got the idea here. We could even change the sizes of them. Okay, that's free transform. I think this one a little bit smaller. So this might be a little bit of a crazy one right now, but I want to uh, let's take a look and see what it looks like. So if we want to change the uh, shape of something, we can just click the scale tool. Okay, um, then we come back in to our black arrow and moving right along, let's move our properties panel out of the way and we hit play. Dun, 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 dun. All right, things are a little bit crazy. It slows down at the bottom. But I think you get the idea, right, that we, you really are only limited by your imagination. And with more time, you could really put into this and uh, make the ball move and do all kinds of cool stuff. Now, again, our properties panel is a really big panel that we'll be working with. We can easily, you know, get ourselves to our different states. Um, and we select it. And we can see how it changes then. We can scale it down by clicking onto this image right here and making things happen. Now, let's take a look at just another little tween coming on in. <clears throat> Oops, and I want to actually make a new one. File, new. I want to show you another way that we can go about doing this and making this a little bit bigger just so we can see what we're doing just a little bit better. We hit OK. I come on in. <clears throat> I begin again by making a um, a shape. We'll start with the donut shape. Now, what I want to do again is I want to come modify, and I want to convert this to a symbol. I say it's a graphic. Okay, here it is. Now, what I want to do in order to do a tween again is I need to work with an instance of this symbol. So I click down. I move this right here. Now, let's take a look at though. If we start down here, we have the top to the bottom. And we make this a little, we make this smaller. Okay. And let's actually even uh, come on into our properties panel and let's select this and let's actually change the color. And why don't we go for something more like that? Okay, great. All right, so now with we with even the, this is an instance of this. Let's actually insert tweens now. So we come to modify and we come to symbol. We come to tween instances. Let's do let's lower it. That was just a little bit too many last time. Actually, we'll go to ten. I'll hit OK. And what we're going to see is things, our size will change as it moves. Now it starts with the color and it, it changes, so you'd have to go back in. But what's great is see how the size, the size changes. So you can play around um, with different things. Another one um, that I believe works well as we go into the tweening is we can adjust and work with the opacity and have something fade out. Again, possibilities are endless. You are only limited by your imagination. Thanks so much. Oh, 
I want to go over saving this. So we were going to go file, save as, okay? When we export an order for it to work, we would want to save it as an animated GIF, or we would want to save it as, uh, as a, as a, uh, fireworks SWF, Adobe, I'm sorry, not fireworks, Adobe Flash SWF. So there we have it. If it's one that you wanted to keep working with, you would save it as a fireworks PNG. So, but again, in order to make these work with the animation, we'd need to save it as either an animated GIF or a flashed SWF. Thanks so much.